A Long Beach woman and a former Vietnam prisoner of war were connected for decades through a piece of jewelry. Joe Murray first got the Navy captain's POW bracelet when she was just a little girl and always wanted to meet him face to face. KCAL 9's Jasmine Veal tells us it may happen soon. I wore my bracelet for four years, starting in 1968, and I remember the day that they had the list of the POWs that had come home. Joe Murray from Long Beach was only 10 years old when a friend gave her a bracelet just like these that year, engraved with the name of a prisoner of war. Hers had the name of this man on it, a naval aviator who had been shot down by a surface-to-air missile in 1967 in Vietnam. Stainless steel bracelet. Uh, with the name and black lettering and the date of capture, and it, it was listed as Lieutenant Wilson Key. Decades passed, her bracelet broke, but she kept Lieutenant Key's name written down and just recently decided to find the man she said a prayer for every night. She knew he had made it home from Vietnam, but had no idea if he was still alive. Googled his name, I found his phone number, dialed the number, and I one ring, he answered the phone. On the other end was Wilson Denver Key, now living in Florida, but who had spent 64 months in captivity near Hanoi, tortured for information, and survived on bread and soup. It just meant, meant that we had not been forgotten. Key's name, like other POWs, was engraved on hundreds of bracelets, and dozens have been given to him over the years from strangers. This is something very similar to, I think, what Joe uh, uh, wore. And as Key thanked Joe for reaching out, she is thanking him for his service, finally, all these years later. Joe is hoping that one day she's going to meet Mr. Key face to face and have that reunion, even inviting him here to the Yacht Club for their annual Patriot Regatta. In Long Beach, I'm Jasmine Veal, KCAL 9 News. Police in Northern California.